Hey guys, uh, sorry, first off, sorry it's been so long um, making a video. I've had a lot of stuff going on uh, lately, like moving and getting a new apartment, uh, getting married. Um, but anyways, we're here to talk about the Beatles and Sgt. Pepper and unboxing the Super Deluxe Edition of Pepper. Uh, something I'm really looking forward to and I was actually disappointed that I didn't get mine as soon as many others. Uh, a lot of people got theirs either the day of or some the day earlier uh, than the release date and here I am like almost a week later and finally making a video. But anyways, you can't always get what you want. Um, so let's go ahead and open it. Okay, well, so here it is, a 3D cover. I should probably read you all the back real quick. It says, and actually I'll just hold it up real quick for if y'all want to uh, pause it and read it. Let's see. But uh, just briefly going through it, uh, it says, uh, this extensive collection gives an unprecedented insight into how the Beatles made their groundbreaking album. The box set features a new stereo mix by Charles Martin and 33 tracks from the Sgt. Pepper sessions that place you in the studio as the group developed the songs. It also, you know, it comes with a four, four audio CDs, uh, including the new stereo mix, um, over a hundred minutes of audio illustrating how the album was created uh, yeah also contains the original 67 uh, mono mix which is also wonderful because that's the official version of Pepper um, and then a blu-ray of an unreleased 1992 documentary of the making of Sgt. Pepper um, yeah so and of course a book as well. Anyway, so let's dig in. Oh, very, very nice. The EMI tape replica of the replica of the EMI tape box. This opens on up. Let's see. So this is the discs, uh, and it's kind of, well, it's made to look like the gatefolds of the original album. Um, it just so happens I actually work at a music store, um, where one day when I wasn't there, someone purchased the box set, uh, and by the way, the reason I didn't get it from that, this particular music store is because they were asking close to $200 for this and you know I paid half that much uh, online but anyways the guy opened it and he thought this was just the vinyl and so he actually took it back but this is actually um, the CDs which I I almost understand because it is in shrink wrap let me cut this open so it's sort of understandable, but come on, man, it says CDs on it, so, you know, you gotta do a little research into what you're buying. So. Let's see if we can get in there. Okay. 
Okay. Some of them are a little bit kind of falling out of their little sleeve. Learned that from watching a few other people's videos. They opened up the gatefold and these were kind of falling out, fell everywhere. So, but anyways, yeah. Looks great. You got CD1, which is this new stereo mix, which I have heard and I personally love it. Uh, you know, uh, CD2 outtakes, and CD3's outtakes, I believe, and 4 is the original mono. Yeah, and it says it over here, of course. Uh, and you got the Pepper documentary. So it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. Alright, this is a cool little poster that I probably will put up. I'll probably frame this just because it's a neat post. Got the original circus poster that inspired the song Benefit of Mr. Kite. Which, you know, Paul was, this is, uh, John bought this poster. Uh, and then him and Paul were over there at John's house and they just started writing. They just kind of copied the words and made an amazing song. You know, because this is a, use this as inspiration. Got the original cutouts from the album, uh, the original vinyl cutouts, which I have several copies of Sgt. Pepper, all reissues, not the original, uh, because that's very expensive. Um, you know, the original mono. And uh, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't. I'm not cutting any of those out, uh, out of any of them. It just doesn't make. Uh, I I prefer to just keep it just like that. Okay, very nice book. Sergeant Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band. It's a spine. Very very nice book. Let's open it up. Okay, so here we are. Ah, the paper, opening paper is the original sleeve, uh, record sleeve that Pepper came in. I'm really terrible showing these books. see this. A lot of interesting stuff, handwritten lyrics. Uh, I guess unseen pictures, I'm not sure. Um, but of course, nonetheless, a lot of pictures. Paul and John in the studio. It's really interesting. Some of these I've seen, some of these I haven't seen, so I guess some of them are unpublished. Very interesting book. 
There's the famous picture that Linda took. John kind of giving Paul the okay. Anyways, there's that. But uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, I do suggest if you don't want to shell out the, you know, hundred bucks or so to get this, that you do at least get the two CD uh, set, which comes with the new stereo mix and the uh, uh, few outtakes, uh, all, as well as the vinyl. Um, the vinyl is the exact same way. So, but, yeah, at least get one of those. Um, if you're not a huge fan, you know. But this looks really great, and I'm really looking forward to it. And I can't wait to listen to all the outtakes. I've heard the stereo mix, and I really like it. But, uh, I'm really happy about this. Also, I wanted to show you guys really quick, um, while we're here... I actually, uh, I got this display at my work, um, but they, see Sergeant Pepper 50, they were actually out of, um, they didn't have the shelves, so the, whoever, the company didn't send us the shelves to put it on there, and, uh, so my manager just said, yeah, if you want it, you can take it. So, uh, I was like, yeah, sure, definitely. Um, I'll, I'll probably build my own shelves for it. See, so as you see, it's missing the shelves. But nonetheless, it's a really neat display. 50s. So, anyways. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Um, have a great one.